Okay, these kids behind us, uh, we're here in, New in Manchester, New Hampshire with Scott. We're just taking a video here. What's your name? <laughs> okay, see you. See you, guy. My phone just died. <laughs> okay. We're taking a video here. Hey, we're walking in Manchester, New Hampshire. And we just, uh, we're on the other side. We're with this whole group of amazing children of the Father. And we were just with these kids over here. And we had the, the challenge of, most of them are probably 10 or younger, what to do to pray for small, smaller children, you know, so you don't offend anyone and don't get in trouble. So we just had them pray for one another through the fence. So the first guy, can you, anyone remember what happened? How, how did that go down? First guy, you said, do you have pain in your knee? And he said, yes. And you asked for another kid to put his hand on the knee. And pray for it. Pray for it in the name of Jesus, be healed. And his knee got completely healed. And then another kid said, hey, wait a minute. I have pain in uh, my shoulder. I have pain in my shoulder or his knee, whatever it was. Yeah. And then, and then so the first boy put his hand on the second boy. And Eric was coaching him and telling him if they believe in the name of Jesus that they can do this. And then... They prayed, and the second boy got healed, and they're like, whoa, what is that? How is that possible? Yeah, the third one said, I have been in my ankle. He was on a bike, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then the one that just got healed went to pray for the one with the pain. With the pain? That one got healed. They were like, what? Are you what? possessing us? <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> yeah. He said, yeah. no, it's Jesus. it's Jesus. He loves yeah. you. So then we just you know, shared with them that if they believe in Jesus, they can do this too, that they can lay hands on their friends and tell the pain to go in Jesus' name. It was an amazing teaching, amazing teaching moment through a fence, totally being led by the love of God. It was amazing. We were probably 10 feet away from them most of the time. Yeah, we didn't even touch them. We didn't, didn't come near them. It. it was awesome. Ministry at a distance. Glory! Yeah. 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 Jesus! <laughs> What's your name? Jaden, where does your arm hurt? Right here. Okay, how much does it hurt? A lot or a little bit? A lot? Okay. Alright. Watch this. Watch this. In the name of Jesus, pain go away. Okay, check it out. Is there any pain there now? Was there pain before? Are you lying to me? It's really? All done. Try to move it around all the way. It's all done. Pretty cool, That's huh? Jesus. Jesus. And he loves you. He thinks he you're amazing. How cool is that? Now what are you, you know that? Jesus is alive. Okay. Is Jesus real? Would you like to make him Lord of your life? Okay, say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for healing me. Be Lord of my life. Be Lord of my life. My life is yours. My life is yours. Thank you for living inside of me. Thank you for living inside of me. Thank you for giving my every sin. Thank you for Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, thank you for filling me. Thank you for filling me. Okay, watch, watch this, okay. Jesus, right now, Holy Spirit, fill him up, fill him up, fill him up, fill him up. Touch him, touch him. What are you feeling? What does it feel like? Jesus name. Fire. Jesus name. What are you feeling now? What does it feel like? Am I touching? More I'm not touching you. He's just showing you how much double he loves you. Love. What does that feel like? My heart feels warm. Your heart yeah. feels warm.
you, yeah. you can lay hands on people and they can be healed and you say, be, be healed in the name of Jesus, they'll be yeah. healed just like we just did. You have that power to send those spirits in you now. They'll guide you, they'll guide you to a good walk, they'll teach you how to hear God's voice, to walk with Jesus, they'll teach you all kinds of cool stuff if you talk to them every day. It's really cool, it's a big deal. It's yeah. a big deal to God. Is that it's cool? a really big deal to God. He loves you so much. You're feeling that, aren't you? Yeah. He loves you so much. Today's a new day for you. It's a brand new day, brand new life for you. And he's watching you, he's guarding you all your life, okay? So you don't have to be afraid of anyone or anything because he's always with you. He's going to guide your footsteps. You're going to walk. You're going to learn more and more about Christ. You're going to teach all your friends about Jesus and how cool he is, how amazing he is, and how much he loves them. You're going to speak that truth to them. You're going to lead them. It's called the light. You're going to lead them into the light. You're going to take them out of the darkness and lead them into the light. It's going to be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of young men and boys that you're going to lead into the light because of the love of Jesus, because he loves them. You're a leader. You're going to have an amazing life for God. You're going to run well. It's going to be amazing. Jesus. Jesus. Right. How are you feeling now? Huh? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Just the, the little boy who just came up there, we uh, earlier we're at that park, way back over there. Um, somewhere over there. Across the street. Okay, we were at that park across the street, and the little boy came up to us. This is uh, two, almost two hours later. And he was on the bike. He was at the park while the other little boys were getting healed. And he had come up to us and asked us a question before we had left uh, the park two hours ago. And then all of a sudden we're walking back here, walking towards the cars. And he came up to us. What did he say? Do you remember? He said, um, can you pray for my hand or my arm? It, it hurts. And so Eric said, sure. And then um, Garrett, seven-year-old Garrett, prayed for his arm and one prayer all the pain was gone he got completely healed and then Eric asked him if he knew Jesus and if he'd like to receive Jesus as his savior and he got led into into Jesus and he got touched by the Holy Spirit and, and uh, said he felt really really good afterwards it was a pretty good day for that young man oh. lives are being changed in Manchester in Manchester New Hampshire yeah <laughs> JFK. John yeah, JFK God. Memorial Coliseum, just outside the JFK Memorial Coliseum. Yeah, it was a good day yeah. here in Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw a awesome. lot of healings, a lot of lives changed, mm. a lot of people touched by the love of God, reconnected with Christ. It's an amazing day. It was a really good day. Yeah. Okay, Jesus. Jesus. Christ.